A Hutchinson man who dragged a police officer with his truck learned his fate in court today. In April, police say 61-year-old Luke Elchenbruns assaulted a Menards employee who asked him to put on a mask. Then, while officers were trying to stop him, he trapped Officer Stephen Sickman's arm in his truck and hit him with a hammer. Officer Sickman had to get eight metal staples in his head. John Lortzen shows us what happened inside the courtroom today. In the early afternoon of April 14th, police say Luke Elchenbruns hit a Menards employee multiple times over the head after the employee asked him to put on a mask. Officers then pursued Elchenbruns to an intersection where he refused to get out of his vehicle and told them to shoot him. When Officer Steven Sickman reached inside to grab his keys, Elchenbruns closed the window on the officer's arm and smashed into squad cars. He then hit Officer Sickman in the head with a hammer. Every officer at that scene would have been justified in shooting this defendant, causing his death. But they didn't do so because Sickman was in the way. This defendant is lucky to be here today. In court, Elchin Brun's attorney and wife spoke on his behalf. But on the day of the incident, to say that I was dumbfounded by the reports would be a total understatement. Robbie Lynn Elchenbrun says her husband suffers from depression, anxiety, and PTSD from his time in the military. She called him a loving and hardworking man who regrets what happened. I know for a fact that Luke wants help, and our family really wants him to get help. In the end, Judge Jody Winters sentenced Elchenbrun to a year in jail with credit for time served, along with up to 10 years probation. Judge Winters says the fact that Elchenbrun has no prior criminal history weighed into her decision, but she made it clear that any violations going forward would result in extended prison time. You endangered the lives of the victims, Officer Sickman, Mr. Anthony Wagner, and potentially your own life. In McLeod County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Elton Bruns also has to pay restitution, do community service, and he must write letters of apologies to the victims. If he doesn't follow through, he could serve up to 10 years in prison.